What is up, everyone in the Ripple and XRP community? Good morning. Happy Monday, August 30th, with tomorrow being the big day. The Ripple vs. SEC telephonic conference is going down. I can't wait to hear what the judge is going to say to the SEC. Listen, as soon as I get the information, as soon as I get that call in number, I will post it on my Twitter account. I'll also post it in the YouTube comment section so everyone has a chance to call and remember these calls are limited so you must get on the call as one of the first unless you're not going to get in but have no fear i'm going to cover it i really think we're going to get some fireworks tomorrow i think that the judge is finally going to address the sec and why she had to have asked them four different times to hand over the documents and they still refuse to hand over these documents i can't wait anyways enough about that today's this morning's video is going to be a banger, people. We're going to talk about new Ripple ODL corridors. I shouldn't even say new. I should say I should say a roadmap to corridors, <clears throat> on-demand liquidity corridors that are going to be open this year, going throughout each corridor. Ripple breaks it down. Wait till you see this. Then we're going to tie everything back in to a massive, massive India on-demand liquidity partnership i told you i've been covering india for the past four years ever since i got into this market i did a patreon post where i found seven out of the ten banks were already on RippleNet, and now we are getting word that on-demand liquidity is flowing into india stay tuned we're also going to talk about the price we always have to talk about the price and then we're going to talk about some more damning evidence against the sec as Gary Gensler, your boy, Mr. Gensler, admits that the SEC gave secure uh, gave clearance on both Bitcoin and Ethereum. Tell you, this case is going to be thrown out the window faster than you can see anything. Ripple's going to win in a unwilling fashion. But enough about that. Let's jump into it. Like always, make sure you give me a follow on Twitter, XRP News underscore. Oh, side note, I think I fixed the video issue. I'm not going to play a video today, but keep that in mind. I think I got it fixed. I had the sound coming out of the wrong the wrong object. I think it's not usually object. Whatever. Anyways, Bitcoin. What are we saying? Market cap still above 2 trillion. It's actually above 2.1 trillion. Bitcoin dominance about 42.76%. Current Bitcoin price is sitting at $47,918. It is down about 1% in the last 24 hours. Ethereum is sitting a tad below 32K. It's down about 0.38% in the last 24 hours. XRP sitting at a dollar 13. It is down 1.33% in the last 24 hours. As if I stated and as I will keep stating, the price right now doesn't matter until Bitcoin breaks 51K. We break 51K. Let the bull run resume and let all time highs about to get blasted. Then you'll be looking for your eighty to one hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. Some people are even thinking a lot more. I want to show you this from Tech Dev. He says Bitcoin's monthly RSI in the past bull runs. We had two peaks, twenty thirteen. I'm gonna blow up the picture. If you look down here in this little squiggly purple, it's the RSI. You can see each each time there was a Bitcoin bull run. And this theory is backed by the elite wave theory. Each time we had a bull run, there have been two different peaks. If we look at 2013, you can see your two peaks. As we move over to 2017, you can see your two peaks. And in between those peaks, what did you see? You saw a dip down. And obviously in 2013, the dip was a lot lower, but it shot back up higher. In 2017, we didn't dip as low. That's why people are calling for the end of the bull run because of how low we have dipped. But that is not the case. This is the 2013 bull run all over again. So we dipped so far one time in 2021. And as you can see, we are slowly making our way back up for that explosive growth. I expect that the second peak to go above this first peak, I I expect it to be anywhere to 80 to $100,000 Bitcoin. And I think once we get above 51,000, that we're gonna see it come rather quick. I do believe it's coming this year and you already know that, but then we're gonna move on over to Dr. Fender talking about XRP. He says, hi there, I had my coffee and I'm ready to update you. Isn't that great? I'm ready to read it, buddy. He says, well, XRP is silent. However, expecting a change shortly, shortly since the triangle 
has narrowed down. The C wave is still in play. XRP needs to challenge against the dollar fifteen and the dollar twenty six area. Those are his two key points that we need to beat. If we don't beat them and we do go back down, we have a couple of key resistance areas to keep an eye on a dollar eleven, a dollar one, and ninety three cents. Something has to give, and something is going to give soon. Mark my words. Then we move over. Stay with me on this. You're about to be blown away. XRP Crypto will put out Ripple's partner, Standard Charter Bank, will launch a blockchain, tra a blockchain trade finance platform and joint venture. So we know Ripple and Standard Charter has a partnership for quite some time. We date back to 2018. Standard Charter to extend the use of RippleNet for more countries. Standard Charter extended use of Ripple Network for cross-border payments to five more pairs of countries over the coming year. So this has already been done. We're three years into this. They have gone even deeper. It says the bank went public with its use of Ripple of Ripple to unlock the 15 billion trade corridor between India and Singapore in November of 2018. Pay attention to those two corridors, India and Singapore. The system is being used. Remember, those corridors right there, at, that, at this time, it was X current, okay? They were not using on-demand liquidity just yet. The system is being used to speed up payment processes between buyers and sellers in a bank's corporate supply chain. Plans to extend the use of the platform were touched on by Standard Charter CEO Bill Winters in the bank's Q1 management report. In a passage on the bank's investment and innovative initiatives, Winters states, and I quote, we are using blockchain technology to streamline cross-border payments as part of the first live real-time payments corridor between Singapore and India that we initiated in 2017. We will expand the capability for, to five more pairs of countries in 2018. So Standard Charter announced that they were back on board with RippleNet in 2018. It was really happened in 2017. 2018, they said they're going to expand to five more countries. First two countries were India and Singapore. And they were doing this between the buyers and sellers and the bank's corporate supply chain. So we come back here and talk about trade finance and Standard Charter has expanded, right? We move over to this tweet from Crypto Eddie. She puts this out this morning. And I think she just did a video on it. Make sure you go give her a watch. On-demand liquidity continues to build out with the second half of the year, year going into new corridors. So Q1. Now remember those two corridors, India and Singapore. Okay, India and Singapore were up on RippleNet in 2018, three years ago. Well, do you think it's time that they have moved to on-demand liquidity? You're damn right. Q1 of this year, India through Noom started accepting or started leveraging XRP into and out of the country. So Q1, all the different countries that got on to XRP usage, Australia, Hong Kong, India, Mexico, and the Philippines. Q2, Bangladesh, Europe, Philippines, Turkey, and United Kingdom. And the second half, what do we have coming later this year? Indonesia, Nigeria, Singapore, which is currently already in progress of migrating them over to on-demand liquidity, and Thailand. What did Standard Charter say here? India and Singapore. Singapore's in process. India's already there. You're about to see the heat turned up in the kitchen, folks, because India and Singapore are about to go live on XRP, on on-demand liquidity via RippleNet. This is absolutely massive right here, this roadmap. And then Mickey B. Fresh. We are getting close to Songbird launch very soon. It's even, it's even listen, it's either September or October. This thing is coming, all right? Are you ready to start earning network rewards, rewards on Songbird and Flare networks? Something you can't do of need of XRP, but you receive Flare for just minting FXRP on the Flare network. Remember, the launch is right around the corner, people. It's either coming in the next four to eight weeks without any other further delays. I can't wait. And then to top it all off with the damning evidence against the SEC and throwing Gary Gensler under his own bus, the same bus that he rode in into on this court case. From Homeland Security's digital library, serial number 115-14. Cryptocurrencies and oversight of new assets in the digital age. Hearing before the Committee on the Agricultural House of Representatives, 115th Congress, second session, July 18th, 2018. Here's the document, people. What is this all about? I'm going to tell you right now. Humble, peasant, put this out. 
ironically, in 2018, Gary Gensler himself, in a testimony to Congress, cited that Hinman's speech was what he saw as the SEC's official view. Let me blow this up. Gary Gensler says this. Listen, follow closely. To bring greater clarity to these markets, the SEC must also determine how best to bring into compliance the over a 1,000 ICOs and numerous crypto exchanges still in operation in the U.S. Of work ahead of them to bring the issue of base cryptocurrency into compliance, the SEC's Director of the Division of Corporate Finance, William Hinman, sought to give additional direction in a speech, the also famous speech in June 14th of 2018. The crypto markets have gotten some clarity. Let me say that again. This is from Gary Gensler. Testimony to Congress. The crypto markets have gotten some clarity with the SEC stating that the two largest coins, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are not currently securities. So it seems that your head of the SEC believed in 2018 in a testimony to Congress that William Hinman's speech was giving clarity, people. The crypto markets have gotten some clarity with the SEC stating that the two largest coins, Bitcoin and Ethereum, are not currently securities. Then it goes on to say, currently, near 70% of the crypto markets, 250 billion total capitalization is represented by the five cryptocurrencies which have either been designated by the SEC as not securities or were forks of the Bitcoin or Ether networks. If you recall in this committee that there is the issue of base crypto, which is kind of the SEC and their ICOs, there is a derivative crypto, which the CFTC has, but it's going to have some challenges. And then there is the world, the whole cash commodity crypto, which is 70% of this world. So, I mean, I don't know what else there is to say. You have former SEC employees telling you that him in speech was clarity. You have CNBC, MSNBC. You have the press covering that they thought that this speech was clarity. You have Ripple coming out there telling you that they thought that this speech was clarity. You have the former or the current head of the SEC in a speech in 2018, not in a speech, in a testimony to Congress, telling Congress that he thought Bitcoin and Ethereum were not secured because of William Hinman's speech. What else do we have to do here? This case is a joke. This case has to come to an end. This is clear as day. Everyone can see it. I'm sure the judge sees this as well. This speech was to give clarity. And that email from the SEC stating that the XRP back in 2020, that they did not make any classifications or label XRP as security should end this whole case. Something deeper is going on like corruption. Something deeper is going on here. And I think Ripple is onto it. I think Ripple has discovered it. That is why they're going after the trading positions of the SEC folks. Listen, that's where I'm going to leave this video. Make sure you check out all the links in the description of this video. Check out my XRP store. The merch is flying. Sweatshirts, t-shirts, tumblers, coffee tumblers. You name it. Go have a look. Not a lot left, but I will be restocking with some new items today. So pay attention. Wash your damn hands. Be nice and be kind to of each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.